I, I might be, you know. I'm, yeah, I forgot what it was. It was, uh, was it leukemia? A type of leukemia, I think. Toxie a lot of Paragol the other day. These are some of the koas in uh, the upper part of Waikamoi. We're kind of right on the edge of the koa belt on East Maui. Most of it was taken out a century ago. But this band right on the edge of the new Waikamoi Preserve, the expanded preserve, has this beautiful belt of sometimes 500-year-old koas with beautiful 80, 100-foot trees. Um, see if we can find any. Uh, normally, the ohia lehua flowers uh, after heavy rains a couple of times a year. Spring is big, sometimes parts of fall. Endangered, mm. Cyania horrida. I think it was recently added in the last listing round, and that's a very nice specimen right off the board. So we partner closely with the Plant Extinction Prevention Program, and it's really great for us because we used to have to go, but now that the PEP program is up and running, they can kind of focus on that. We can focus on the overall management of the ecosystem, which frees up our... And those are Maui creepers, all that chipping you hear. Hear that chortle sound? Boardwalk and making a little overlook on the gulch. Staying it all the way over there? Yeah. How far would it be, you think? And I it's think And as you get down into the wet forest, you actually get these up in tree form, you know, almost 20 feet tall in some places. This is Pilo. Now, what's the PNC division of duties between uh, Grady and Evelyn? Well, that I think is, I don't know. Oh, okay. No, I don't. There's about actually four or five different species right in these, each clump.